Hello everybody! Today I'm going to unpack, take a close up look and test the Camkix lens hood set. So let's go ahead and open up the packet. So in this packet is a Camkix lens hood set. Let's go ahead and open it up. But of course, pulling apart the grip seal seal and sliding the contents out from the clear grip seal packet. And just tipping out the rest of the contents and checking through to make sure nothing else is left inside. So just giving you a look at the packet and the details on it. Okay, so just setting the packet to the side. Let's set it on the right hand side of the frame or table. And laying the contents across the tabletop. So those are the contents from the Grip Seal Cam Kicks Lens Hood Set Packet. And let's start off by first taking a look at this card. So there is a card here. With a QR code, let's set it to the side. And moving right along, there is a packet here with the Cam Kicks branding. And it appears to be a micro fiber cloth. Just opening up the packet to take a closer look. So it is a small rectangular strip of microfiber cloth. As you can see, just giving you a close up look at the details of the cloth. And just setting that down on the tabletop and moving right along. There is a lens hood here, one of two lens hood. And this has a 60, 70, um, beg your pardon, 67 millimeter thread fitment. And let's open up the packet. So giving you a look at this tulip petal lens hood. So having a 67 millimeter thread fitment diameter and just setting that down and we'll take a close up look in just a moment. And moving right along, there is a white card box here. And let's go ahead and open it up. And once again, sliding the contents out from the box and setting that to the side. Let's set it on the left hand side of the frame. And let's remove this lens hood from its clear plastic bag. And this lens hood, once again, also has a 67 millimeter thread fitment diameter. And just giving you a look. So it is made from rubber and the tulip one is made from plastic. So giving you a look at both lens hoods side by side. The left one being the ring or cylindrical lens hood made from rubber and the one on the right being the tulip petal or tulip pattern lens hood. Also 67 millimeter diameter thread fitment onto a lens. So we're giving you a look at both of them side by side. And of course, up close as well.
and let's focus on the tulip lens hood for now so giving you some close-up looks on its own the tulip lens hood so giving you some sense of the material so plastic or ABS and size wise of course right there resting in my palm and very light in weight given that it is made from ABS also giving you a look at the adjustment screw right there I'm just trying to get the focus to come back onto the lens hood so right there is the cam kicks tulip lens hood so just setting that down and moving on to the rubber cylindrical or ring lens hood so this one of course as I mentioned rubber and you can see the flexibility of the rubber ring however the fitment or thread portion is made out of metal I can feel that it is quite cold or cool to the touch so just giving you a look right here at this cam kicks rubber lens hood also having a 67 millimeter lens thread fitment diameter and giving you some sense of the size resting in my palm And of course, this lens hood is extendable, as you can see. Just pulling out and extending. And of course, giving you a look up close. And you can see the floppiness of the lens hood and being able to retract as well so you can see pulling the lens hood further back behind the fitment ring itself so giving you a look right there as to the levels of extendability so three levels right there to adjust your coverage okay now let's test fit these lens hoods so I do have over here a Nikon D3300 DSLR camera with a Nikon AF-P Nikkor 70 to 300 millimeter f 4.5 to 5.6e ED VR lens. So it does have a 67 millimeter thread fitment. So giving you a look with the lens cap off. And let's try and fit it on so let's start off with the petal hood so just setting the camera down and of course this is best done without a camcorder and tripod in the way but nonetheless just giving you a look as to trying to get the lens hood to fit so just getting some thread to show by turning the tightening ring or fastening ring back and of course just trying to get a nice clean lock onto the lens so 
So there we have it. We have the lens hood, the petal one fitted onto the Nikon Nikkor 70 to 300 millimeter lens. And of course, we can tighten, but it's always somewhat fiddly trying to tighten it. But nonetheless, giving you a look with its fitment onto this lens. So giving you some close up looks right there. And it's always fiddly with these rings in terms of adjusting the tightness once it's fitted onto the lens. So you can see that adjustment ring right there. Okay, so now let's move right along to the rubber lens. Good. Over here, let's fit it on to the lens. So, once again, same thing with screwing it onto the lens. So, right there, fit it onto the lens very simply. No adjustment needed given that it is cylindrical or round. And now, giving you some idea of to the as to the extension and retraction of this lens hood so right there several levels three levels of adjustability with that being the maximum extension and just being very gentle here just just so I don't push it all the way back to show you the different steps or levels of this lens hood. So right there, maximum retraction all the way back with this rubber lens hood. So now try to extend just one level, being careful not to overdo it so you can see the actual levels right there. the full extension right there with the lens hood. So now let's go ahead and test them out 